YouTubers, welcome back to another beautiful day on our Missouri homestead here. And today's project is getting the wiring of this little garage situated so that we're able to heat our well pump in the upcoming freezing temperatures that are certainly coming soon. So we have our temporary wiring system but that's not going to work. We're going to wire it back outside underground the way it was intended to be. Um, so we're in here trying to sort out all of this wiring, figure out where everything goes, what needs to be done to reconnect. We need to clean out all this uh, <laughs> nests and mud and everything. So the black wires are hot, even if the breaker is turned off and Currently we have the breakers turned on so that we can have lighting in here, but we'll be cleaning this out and rerunning the wiring today. Well, hello there, you beautiful Makita power tool. Oh yeah, that battery is working. Look at this. Now we are working with batteries. What this is. So I don't want to keep it around if it's a spider egg pouch or something, but really it makes me think it's like a praying mantis sack or something. And we want praying mantis for sure. When we get a garden started, we're gonna want all that. I found a couple of those sacks around here around the garage. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen those, if you know what they are. Move some trash from over here and look at this. Big old fatty earthworms. That is totally what I like to see. We want good, healthy soil. This is actually in the pasture, but still, we want good, healthy soil for our um, grass to grow and eventually some cattle to be on here and some chickens and whatnot but we'll also be making space for the giant garden. So this is a good sign of soil health. Looks like someone was doing some container gardening out here at one point. I really don't know why with all this land, why you would put containers to garden, but whatever. Now they're just all busted up and I've got to try and get them dumped out and cleared out of here. They're all overgrown with weeds, of course. And then this one that's red, I think that's what everybody calls pokeberry around here. A really colorful worm. I think that's his front side. And he inches like an inchworm because maybe he is one. And he's really colorful, so he might be poisonous. Oh, those are good observations, I think. But just look at that orange front. Orange front? Yeah. See? Ooh. What is that? Hey, uh, Broggy. <laughs> let me go. Let me. Oh. He's going to jump. He's a jumper. I have two things. <laughs> the mystery of the girth of this tree will end today. We just have to know. I've been told by two different people who've come out. So one was a county guy who was here to test the well water. And the other was the... Um, well pump guy and they both think we have the biggest tree in Missouri. So let us see Really how big this thing is Let's Come in for a closer look Almost 23 foot 8 Oh my goodness, that is a giant tree So just over 23 and a half feet around is this big boy Thank you, Lewis so apparently there's a formula for the largest tree in Missouri. And I think we're gonna nominate our tree. They take the circumference, they take the crown, which we can't even get to because the house is in the way. Um, and then they also take the height using a transit. And I think we may be in the running for the biggest tree in Missouri. We're gonna nominate this puppy. Current winner is an American sycamore. 
our guesstimate is it's about 112 feet across the crown at the widest. Wow. Any guesses on the height of this one? Do you guys have a bigger tree than this? Tell me down in the comments below. You know how sometimes you just can't get anything done unless things are a little bit more organized? Well, that's what happened here. Rick started out on the wiring, but we had the big heap of stuff to take to the junk here. So we ended up loading that up and it's actually not a dump here nearby. It's a transfer station. So that was an experience, a um, little bit different than what we're used to um, going directly to the landfill. But now that this is all cleaned up, we can actually use this space. And we picked up some materials while we were in town. Obviously this needs some new plywood and stuff like that. So we got that, we got the wire that we needed. And so now it is time to begin the actual work. Now I feel like we're official homesteaders. We've got a burn barrel and everything. We went and picked up a couple last night from another ad that we saw. And so we're going to burn the termite wood that we found kind of out in the field and all over the place. And we're also going to burn our paper and stuff. But we did get trash service, so all the regular trash will go with that. Well, I wish I could tell you that we had a ton of progress and we finished wiring the garage, but that's not the reality. So Rick saw an ad for a riding lawnmower and he went and picked it up and that's what he's doing now. He is mowing the yard, which I can only estimate that the yard is, I don't know, one or two acres in size. And then of course there's the fields um, that still need to be brush hogged. But he is just as happy as a clam riding that lawnmower. And um, I'm glad he can have that simple pleasure because eventually he's gonna get tired of it and it'll probably be our son's job. So we got totally distracted from what we were doing and decided to do some different projects. And you can see here a big pile of junk, which actually was out in this field here. And so I also got distracted. I saw that there were pieces of wood and there were those barrels that had dirt in them that they maybe had a little garden going. So I decided to clean that up because again, I just have visions of cows in this field. Of course, that's a ways off. And we have a ton of other things that really need to be a priority right now but sometimes you just need to be out in the sunshine and, and do what you dream of doing. And I was going to hold this video until we had something more to show you, but why not? This is what it's like. We are on the homestead, we are here full time, and we are just loving it, but we are not being super highly productive at this moment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to keep following our journey.